It's the word, YouTube. It's your boy Big Will back with a little uh, reaction video here. This is the shit that we're talking about with uh, gods. Some of them are there for so long. It's just it's just work for them, right? Um, they come in, make their eight hours, and they leave, right? Some come in and they don't like certain inmates and shit, and they let a lot of shit go on. Right? They don't stop it. They don't intervene. If you're somebody who goes to the God and complains, the God will tell somebody that he likes. You're labeled as a rat. You're getting fucking jumped or beat or whatever. There's a lot of times um, assaults and murders and shit go on in jail. And they don't, they don't do nothing about it until it's too late. Such as this video. This, um... These two inmates apparently had uh, issues, and um, one ended up dead. Let's go on and hear what they got to say. Shocking security camera video from inside a jail in London, Ontario. Video that shows a murder that the guards apparently did not notice. Tashana Reed is here with the story and the video that you will see for the first time. What does it show us, Tashana? Well, it's pretty difficult to, to watch, Heather. This uh, is the case of 32-year-old Anthony George, who is now serving a life sentence for the death of his cellmate, Adam Cargis. And this new video was ordered released by a judge and shows uh, Cargis being beaten and choked by his cellmate in his cell. The two of them are locked together uh, in that particular cell that we just had a circle around. And then you see a jail guard actually walking by at one point in this video and check to see that all the doors are locked but inside that particular cell so there's that moment we're talking about but inside that cell I so there's the god doing his rounds right they're supposed to make sure your cell is locked yeah but they're supposed to do in and actually do a count look in to see if the inmates are doing anything illegal if they're getting high if they're giving tattoos if they're making a shang yada 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 this guy just goes by and quick glance and see you later. Let's listen. Well, as he's walking by, uh, George can be seen through the window punching and kicking and stomping uh, and choking Cargus. So inmates at this time also were bragging, uh, or sorry, banging and yelling on their own uh, cells. But then at this point, the next morning, uh, George actually drags the body from the cell. And as you can see, many inmates around uh, without jail guards taking notice. And he leaves the body in the shower area, which is a common area uh, for all of the inmates so you see right after god walks by this this inmate comes walking right out of his cell after beating the beating the other guy to death she said the inmates were banging on the doors and the wall they were yelling and the gods they just oblivious to it they don't hear shit they don't want to hear shit they don't want to do the paperwork these gods will always tell you don't make me do paperwork. You make me do paperwork and, and you're fucked. I'm going to fuck with you. They hate doing paperwork. Come on. So this video was taken from a security camera from one of the common areas. But as you can see, um, a lot happening here. And it shows that George, uh, over the days Come that on. they had obtained the footage, it shows George physically interacting with... Come on. Where's the gods watching him? Nobody sees nothing. The inmates, they got a code of silence. They keep, it's not their business. I've told you this, guys, in many videos. It's not their business. But the gods that are sitting there, they can't see this? Central with their cameras, they can't see this? No, oh, they're not paying attention. The gods are flirting with the female gods and bullshitting, and they're not paying attention with Cargus on six different occasions and on four of those occasions he actually puts uh, Cargus into a chokehold and I want to show you a still image as well uh, there's only one at one point do we see there you go he's got the he's got the guy in a chokehold in front of the god okay but don't take the guy out and put him in the hole don't separate them okay right there is grounds for separation they keep them separated um, one goes to the hole, or they both go to the hole for fighting, whatever the case may be. This guy just, stop it and go back to, go back to your cell. Come on. 
see guards actually intervening. Uh, and as you can see, he's holding him in a chokehold. So George was scheduled for trial in particular for this, uh, this case, but pled guilty uh, just three weeks before the trial was set to begin and is now serving this life sentence. So life sentence, what were the, the repercussions for the jail where this happened? Well, of course, I mean, there are a lot of questions as to why these two inmates who uh, clearly had issues were even in the same jail cell You're together. Right uh, George is also a known violent offender. Uh, now, the, ner the court actually heard from a nurse who said that she suspected that he might have been under the influence of alcohol uh, that same night. Mm. And that was actually fact because George admitted in court that he was under the influence, that he had been drinking uh, what is called jailhouse brew or is what is commonly known as jailhouse brew, which is an alcoholic concoction uh, that uh, some of the prisoners make. He also smoked a cigarette. So they got a nurse saying that she said she she thought he was drinking, right? And she tells the gods, and they don't do nothing. They just let it be. They don't want to do paperwork. I'm telling you, when it comes to paperwork, these gods hate it. They will fuck with your life if it's if it's gonna do paperwork. You know, they, they, these guys clearly shouldn't have been together, and they just go by and you oh, you're gonna make me do paperwork. You're gonna fight. So, no, we're all right. Stop that shit. No, and they just let them be instead of moving one. Come on cigarette that was laced with drugs so she had flagged that and reported it to guards but instead the guards decided to deal with the issue the next day um, and then it was too late they said it was because of a staffing shortage now uh, another question is why guards did not respond to the beating uh, there were a number of different uh, alter alter um, or interactions between these two inmates that were caught on a closed circuit camera and that beating also lasted for about an hour so with the inmates making hmm. noise uh, so a lot of questions as to uh, what the guards did and did not do during this particular case the the judge ordering uh, this video to be released so people can see uh, the fuller picture all right there you go so just gives you an idea of what these guards do on a daily basis they do cock they do the minimum, okay? They let people do whatever they want in there as long as they don't have to do paperwork. Trust me when I tell you. They're going to deal with him drinking and choking a guy out tomorrow. And look, for that sorry poor young man, there was no tomorrow. He got beat for an hour, dragged to a shower, and, and, and left there. His lifeless body. And nobody did nothing. They said they had a, a, a shortage of workers. Clearly, you saw that CO walk by when he was beating that man to death. Not just the fight, beating him, stomping him. We couldn't see in the video they had it blocked out. Come on. They tell you what happens, and they just let it go. You know, I'm sure all these guys got fired. I hope they did. You know, karma is a is a plate served well. And when it comes back for you for just letting this man die, you're going to be sorry. So let me know what you think. Leave the comments below. If it's your first time here, hey, hit that like and subscribe button. It's your boy Big Will. I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.